Hey guys, this is the fourth episode of my research series to which I research people in the animation industry that I can relate to. Today I'm actually taking a different approach as for the past three episodes I've been researching through a variety of websites and interviews. For this episode, as I'm focusing on Shama McVeigh, I actually have the opportunity to personally ask her questions myself. She has a lovely personality and I enjoy talking to her. I can't wait to share what I've learned about her, so let's begin. Sean McVeigh was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, and currently lives in Columbus. Her passion for animation started with her love for Pokemon as a child and the realization that animation is an actual career. Inspired by Pokemon's impact on her life, Shama had said, following Ash on his adventures really helped me a lot since I'm an only child. I want to help give kids and adults a sense of comfort. She explained that her mom is disabled after surviving brain surgery and that she had to be raised by her grandmother. She said, again, I'm an only child, so I had to grow up quicker than most kids. I remember trying to get my mom to learn how to walk and eat at a very young age. I try not to be a problem because at a small age, I realized what my mom was going through was serious. However, the solitude made me develop hobbies like drawing and creating stories. Pursuing her passion, Shaman studied animation at Columbus College of Art and Design, but had to drop out due to finances. She said to me, I have one semester left and I'm going to try to finish so I can have my bachelor's. Her sophomore year, she had to set up an Indiegogo in hope of getting funding so she can stay in school. Her bio for it had caught my attention as she said, I have constantly been told that the career I chose is a waste of time. I've been ridiculed and even told by advisors that I should give up on school because I come from a low-income family. She had also expressed that she has big dreams and aspirations as she says, I refuse to give up on my dream because of some shortcomings in my life. I will not let that dictate if I'm successful in this world or not. I will keep perfecting my craft and doing what I love. Even though she has yet to get her bachelor's and suffers from depression and bipolar, she fought through her obstacles and began conquering her dreams anyway. She started off as a production assistant for Hills Love Stories in 2016. Then in 2019, Shaman became a comic illustrator for Future Memory. She then became a freelance animator for Adult Swim in 2020, to which she worked on an animation piece to promote new game mechanics. Shaman is now an associate producer for Kevin Shrek's production of Anago the Samus documentary. The film is a passion project about the rapper Nango the Lumbo Consago, who's also known as Samus, and the experiences that shaped her as an artist. Kevin Shrek saw Nango as an opener for another band and instantly fell in love with her message and style. Samus uses music to explore her identity as a gamer, feminist, racial justice advocate, and more. Referring to Kevin Shrek, Shama said he knew he wanted to make something special, but since the core narrative was a black woman, he wanted a team that could better articulate her life and empathize with it. I had asked Shama about some of the challenges she had faced while working on the film, and she replied with, Honestly, the pandemic had been one of the biggest challenges for the film. Anango rightfully so doesn't feel comfortable with shooting for now, so we're at a standstill. With that being said, we are directing our focus into the animation, which we are still accepting donations to Indiegogo. I can't wait to show a great and relatable story, not gonna lie, certain topics go deep, so y'all been warned. Outside of Anango, Sham continues to prove those who have doubted her wrong as she explained her future plans and what she's most proud of so far. She started off telling me she is currently learning Japanese because she will be in Japan later in the year for an art residency opportunity. She told me she's working on projects such as Project Roving and her own personal projects in which she can't wait to share with the world. Shama has a wonderful and ambitious personality. In our discussion, she expressed that what drives her the most is being a better person than what she was yesterday, whether it's in art or in life in general. I asked her if she had any advice that she would like to share, and she explained that we should always be hungry to learn. There will always be something new appearing in our lives, therefore we should be flexible. She also said pursue your dreams no matter what it is. Life is so short, you never know when you gotta leave. Be proud of you at the moment. Again, I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to talk to Shama. She gave me a more personal perspective of the journey of an animator. She gave beautiful advice that I always keep in mind, and I can't wait to see what more she accomplishes. Thank you for being your Shama McVeigh.